everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the best mushroom soup ever. We're going to be using only milk and the mushroom itself to thicken up the soup. We're going to talk about it in a bit, but the first thing first, let me have a taste test. Yeah, as expected. It's so good. It's creamy, it's rich, but as we didn't use any roux or cream in the soup, it's not overpowering or very heavy, you know. Just give it a try at home and let me know if you like it. Let's begin. For the mushroom veluta soup, we need to make a very good stock first. And for a very good stock, you need very good ingredients. As you can see here, I have some Italian parsley. I'm just removing the stems from leaves and I'm going to use the stems for my stock. Here I have some portobello and chestnut mushroom. Remove the stems and save them for the stock. We are going to use some dried porcini mushroom as well, but don't forget to soak them in cold water overnight. This is what you get. It's full of flavor. I'm going to slice all of the mushroom and set them aside. I'm gonna prepare the rest of the vegetables. As you can see here, I'm using fennel, leek, celery, carrots and shallot. I'm gonna cut them all in big chunks. Save the white parts of the leek, we're gonna chop it later on and add it to our mushrooms. Wash them carefully and get rid of the sands. Here I'm adding the rest of the ingredients into the pot like thyme, bay leaves, black peppercorn, stems of parsley and mushroom and here we have two shallots. I'm going to cut them lengthwise and keep the skin on. Here I'm straining my beautiful porcini stock over a fine sieve along with some water. Bring it to a boil and let it simmer for an hour. For the garnish I'm gonna dice one shallot very finely and then I'm gonna chop some parsley as well.
I was lucky enough to get some chanterelle from my local market today so I'm gonna wash them very quickly and then pat dry them For the final touch of our garnish, I'm gonna make some breadcrumbs. Just cut them in the small cubes and season them generously with some black pepper, kosher salt, olive oil, and a small clove of garlic. Bake them on a preheated oven at 200 Celsius for about 6 minutes. My stock is ready, I'm just straining it over a fine sieve. It smells so good, this stock gives an umami flavor to your soup, which is fantastic. Here I'm just chopping the white parts of the leeks and then I'm gonna sweat them with some butter and olive oil. It takes about 5 minutes. At this point you can add all of the mushrooms. Mix them together and put the lid on. Let it cook for about 10 minutes over high heat. After 10 minutes, I'm gonna add some fresh rosemary in it and season it with black pepper and salt. At this point, I'm gonna deglaze it with some bourbon and reduce it to dry. Here I'm going to transfer the mixture into the big pot and then add milk and the stock in it. Bring it to a boil and let it simmer for an hour. It's time to prepare our garnish. Here I'm just sautéing the chanterelle mushroom in a very hot pan along with some diced shallot and chopped parsley. My croutons are ready, I'm just going to add them in a food processor and blend them super fine. Here is my savory breadcrumbs. crumbs. 
Before serving, I'm going to blend the half of the soup with an immersion blender. For some soups like pumpkin or mushroom soup, you don't need any extra starch or thickener. And now I'm just adding the other half back into it. This way you have a creamy and a chunky texture at the same time. Here I'm just plating my soup. I have my lovely chanterelle. I'm gonna add it on top of the soup. along with some breadcrumbs, kosher salt, and watercress. For the final touch, I'm going to add a few drops of extra virgin olive oil on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.